Hotel California, the studio version, is still one of the greatest songs I've ever heard. I think it's this brilliant, mysterious, dark tale about what can go wrong if you chase fame, excess or greed. It's, I think, kind of like a parable. And what they do is they use this hotel, so to speak, as a metaphor for kind of people being stuck in this place of like purgatory, chasing fame and getting wrapped up in everything. And they use this female figure as kind of like a siren who reels you into the whole thing. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant track with a guitar solo section where two guitars are kind of like weaving in and out of each other. Great lyrics, a great singer, but I've never listened to it live. Uh, I've heard so much about this live performance too and about the band and the fact that they have fantastic chemistry live. So this is Hotel California live from Washington in 1977 and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, here we go. This is the live performance of Hotel California from Washington in 1977. Now I do need to blur the video slightly. Hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. This is a big issue with watching live music and particularly with the Eagles, they are kind of harsh with these kind of things. So don't mind the blur, it's just because uh, hopefully it will get passed through the YouTube algorithm that kind of blocks it. Um, hopefully you guys still enjoy. Here we go. Those opening guitar notes, so epic. It really sets up the fact that we have like a journey to go on. Oh, here we go. You guys like that? I tried to match the lighting. It's my Hotel California lighting. I promise to go back. I have heard Don Henley was a drummer of the band and I always thought that was odd as the lead singer, but now actually watching it is so, so interesting to see. This dude is like legit drumming while he's singing. I, I don't know if that's normal at all. I feel like that's completely different to what most bands do, right? You're doing a rhythmic thing and a melodic thing at the same time, right? That's got to be really, that's impressive. I'm, there's quite a few musicians in these comments and they, I'm sure you guys will let me know. That's, that's super impressive stuff. Um, the lyricism of this track, man, has always blown me away. Now I have the lyrics up, just certain details that they add, that Henley added through this thing that create this picture of this drive into this town with this hotel, uh, this kind of dark, mysterious figures in, in the doorway too, right? Check this out. Um, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of Kalitas rising up through the air. If the guitars didn't do it, if the drums didn't do it, it's certainly the lyrics that paint this desert highway picture, right? So awesome, so awesomely written. This could be heaven or this could be hell, right? You're, you're in this kind of fork in the road.
strong tail. She got the Mercedes Benz. She got a lot of pretty, pretty boys. She calls friends. How they dance in the courtyard. Sweet summer sweat. Are you guys hearing the unbelievable chemistry of the band? It's actually unreal. Like, check the guitars in the background. The way that they're layered so beautifully with each other. Now, also, the way he's singing this thing, right? It's like he's actually living the song. I love when the singers do that, dude. Fantastic voice he's got. Those harmonies, too, that kick in in the chorus. One of my favorite lines in the track, in the whole, in the whole, like six or seven verses there. So I call up the captain, please bring me my wine. He said, we haven't had that spirit here since 1969. Bars, bars, that's a bar. That's a double entendre. I love it. The idea of the wine being the spirit, but the captain really is talking about the dude who's speaking, right? The spirit of the guy, right? He's come here with hope and dreams. I think this is a track about the record industry or like the idea of like chasing your, chasing fame or excess, right? You go there with uh, kind of these wide eyes and then you're taught very quickly that uh, this business is, uh, is no good for you. And to kind of, it kind of takes your soul with it, right? Let's back this up. Great time to do a Wake harmony. Do you know what? I only noticed it till here, right? I said in the intro about the idea that the girls at the doorway, uh, you know, the 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 who the pretty boys uh, at her feet is <clears throat> it's like a siren, right? And I love that every time like a voice is brought up, like you said, and still those voices are calling from far away and they'll harmonize at that moment. I love that they do that. The same thing at certain places, right? It goes, what a nice surprise or such a lovely place. That's the moment that they'll hit the harmony. Speaking about the Hotel California, it's as, if, as if the sirens are calling you every time. She said, we're all just prisoners here of our own device. Mm. And in the master's chambers, gathered for the feast. Stab it with their stealing eyes, but they just can't kill the beast. The last thing I Ooh. remember, Kicks I back in. running for the door. But you can never leave Here we go Ah, oh, the drumming Ooh. 
Wow. That was ridiculously good. I mean, any any dude who has that double double headed um, guitar piece has to be a badass guitar player, right? I've seen only like a couple couple guys rock it: Santana, Jimmy Page, and my man over here. Um, what a brilliant track! I just want to highlight one of my favorite lyrics of all time. Well, I've heard so far on this channel. The final way that they end it: you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave right the idea that it has your it has the its grips on you now i can't tell if i'm sweating from the flu or the music dude <laughs> that's how good that was fantastic lyric and i think it goes into the idea of kind of the, the idea of sirens or like being pulled into this thing without even you knowing what's happening right even go as to far as to say the the guitars in this thing the sound of this track is so beautiful it's like a, it's calling you in i imagine that's how it would be would sound as a young musician heading into the record industry you know they they throw things at you they throw money at you fame at you uh pink floyd has covered this subject quite thoroughly in in albums like animals or or the wall um you know it all seems so enticing and beautiful just like those guitar solos did but at the same time there's all the pain you cut you can check out anytime you like but you can never leave. It's got his grips on you. Uh, brilliant performance, man. Wow. Don Henley, man, what a voice. He sounds like he's, you know, the studio version. He sounds as good, if not better, which is so rare. Um, great guitar, guitar soloing going on there. The chemistry between the guys. I love the set as well. It looks fantastic. Um, great stuff, dude. Uh, new real musicianship. Real, real musicianship. One of the best performances I've seen so far. Fantastic. Two thumbs up. Awesome, awesome way to end this year. Um, oh, and tomorrow I will have a top 10 list of um, best songs I've heard so far on this channel. So keep an eye out for that. See you guys tomorrow.